one eternity later. Sir, regarding the Diwata's yeah. Paris, which yeah. do you prefer, the chicken one or the Paris? Uh, so I've only tried the chicken so far. I have not tried the Paris yet. Uh, I'm still going to try it, but I will try it. I'll get to it very soon. Okay, sir. It's hard to make this vlog. <laughs> it's very difficult. Uh, yeah. A few moments later. Hello everyone, I'm here with sir. Food expert. Food expert, yeah. And is this your first time in the Philippines, sir? It's my third time in the Philippines. I actually love the Philippines. It's a great place. And is this your first time in ano, Diwata's Paris? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's my very first time. I, I never have been here before. I never heard of him actually. I never heard of it. Just people keep on telling me to go check out this place. And that's why basically I wanted to check it out because so many people are telling me, oh, you got to check it out. Like, go have this place. So, and, and overall, because you've been here in the Philippines, what is your favorite Filipino food? My favorite Filipino food is probably laying. Laying. Or maybe also I, I really like um, Nicole Express. Nicole Express. Yeah. Oh, sorry. This thing's going to come down. That's oh, sorry. There we go. Oh, very very hot though, very, very as you hot. can see. I'm sweating. How do you not sweat in this this weather here? Because it's summer, sir. So usually in summertime, this is kind of a common thing in yeah, the Philippines. Absolutely. Here. Then, what, are you staying right now or oh, just traveling? I'm around staying the... in Bangkal, Bangkal Makati. It's nearby. Like it's somewhere near uh, Palinan. Um, yeah, I, I've been staying there for like four days. Four days. And I'm going to be going to um, somewhere else like uh, like Angel City uh, probably tomorrow. tomorrow. Uh, and so far, sir, in overall uh, food or any recommendation, what is your uh, top three? Top three re require re recommendations. Yes, uh, top three recommendations. I think that, you know, you need to get off the beaten path when you come to the Philippines. You need to kind of travel. Uh, you know, off the grid, you know, don't just follow the crowd, like go to the places where the locals are going. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm the only foreigner that is here right now. So uh, I guess this is what I wanted to do, like go where everyone is, you know, like all the locals are going. So far, sir, in overall in your food uh, vlog, uh, is it worth it to travel across the country or uh, is it just a waste of time or any energy? or? Uh, oh yeah, it's definitely worth it to travel all around the country in the Philippines. I think that it's one of the most underrated countries. You really have got so many amazing beaches, so many nice people, and also really uh, underrated culinary experience here with a lot of different foods that are just super special it's it's kind of rivaling uh it's kind of up there with like malaysian food or you know cambodian food like they're all really good asian southeast asian foods are absolutely amazing they all have their own kind of style going on but yeah it's just it's one of the best places to eat you know in the world for if you like sweet things especially or bread uh, especially with rice you know it's, it's especially very dominant in that you know the culinary experience in the philippines Oh, wow, it's very touching, sir. <laughs> to hear that from a uh, foreigner or visitor. Uh, yeah. And, sir, uh, regarding in Asia, did you travel except uh, no, other countries also? Yeah, so? yeah, I've been to about 60 countries. About, uh, it's hard to remember exactly how many, but because uh, I'm just like not a country counter, I don't count my countries. I just go and go ever, uh, yeah, travel, go enjoy it. Yeah, try to enjoy it. 
Uh, but yeah, I try to spend more time in places I've been rather than like going to every single country in the world. I like to go to see, you know, like many provinces in China. I would like to see many provinces in the Philippines. I'd like to see like all of Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, Malaysia. Like I want to travel back to these places more. So yeah, also Germany and some other places in Europe too as well. A lot of places in Europe I want to go to as well. So yeah, absolutely love it. Yeah, sir, uh, are you a backpacker traveler or uh, maybe? Uh, uh, so kind of? right now I only have two backpacks, so I'm technically a backpacker backpack. right now. But uh, I don't stay in hostels typically now, but I used to stay in hostels all the time. Like when you travel for the first time, you definitely want to stay in hostels to save money so you can go to more places. And sir, uh, for advice, uh, because you're a foreigner, uh, please alert all the time. Including yeah. in the Manila area, there are lots of people here wants yeah. to stole or steal from you Absolutely. because you're a <laughs> foreigner. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, let's walk down here. It's so hot. I'm so sorry. Like, I, I feel like I, I'm, I'm so not. Like, yeah, I'm so much, a lot more than you for sure. I'm not sweating at all. Uh, for me, it's just a common thing. This kind of weather. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just crazy how sweaty I am right now. Then, yeah, it's... then what do you answer uh, for a living? Because uh, food and traveling is yeah. so expensive, sir. Do you yeah, mind? So what I do is, you know, I do have some things I do online, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to make it on YouTube. So I make part of my money on Facebook and YouTube and TikTok. Uh, and then the rest of the money, I have to, you know, figure out ways, maybe teach online, do other, you know, independent contracting kind of jobs, you know, that might be temporary or just, um, you know, just common jobs online. Definitely jobs online are so much more flexible. Yes, sir. That's the good part about it. Yes. Uh, before, I'm a full-time uh, teacher or professor. Oh, but nice. Right now, I'm a full-time businessman and a vlogger also. Okay, that's great. Then, sir, what's your channel so that you can invite my viewers yeah, okay. and audience, sir? So my channel is called Food Expert. And uh, yeah, I'm from California. I traveled to the Philippines back five years ago and then COVID happened. I was going to come back like a lot more often. Yeah. And but, like what happened was COVID made it so I could not come back for a while. So it's really sad for me. But now I'm back. I'm ready to rock and roll here, you know? Yeah, it's a beautiful I, place to be. I hope you enjoy another stay in the Philippines or oh, yeah, more memories and uh, yeah. And yeah, sir, what's your account for uh, no, YouTube, TikTok? Oh yeah, or, so uh, no, food Facebook. expert is the same. So F O O D X and then B E R T because my name is Bert, Bert. and so Bert uh, B E R T Bert, not B U R T, but B E R T. And uh, so yeah, food and then X. Just X and then B E R T. Very simple. Uh, thank you once again, sir. Oh, thank you. And, and nice to meet you, yeah. sir. And I nice hope you too. like the Paris for. I, the, I think we will. We will uh, like it yeah. for sure. Thank yeah. you once again, sir. Yeah, thank you. Bye, guys. Bye -bye. Food you are a Paris overdone. Rice, Paris, and one soft drinks. Only rice, only soup. So, this is it. Our first bite. Here's the meat. That's very good. First impression. It's very tasty. For the price, affordable. Not bad. First time I will try the chicken. The chicken. Uh, my full name, ma'am, Alexander George Tipangilina. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Earlier, guys, uh, before the this vlog, Diwata, 
we try to visit again the Makina Moto Show, day three. It's very exhausting because it's late, around 9.30, I think. Mm. You want to try some of this chicken? Do you want to try a little bit of the chicken? Uh, sir. Are you sure, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try some. Just break off a piece of the chicken here. So just break it off. I took a bite on this side. Just grab a piece of chicken, like from wherever. Tell me, give your opinion on the chicken. Mm. It's very tasty, sir. Okay, sorry, here. Sir, for the chicken, uh, I think for me, sir, uh, in my humble opinion, it's around 9 or 9.5 out of 10. Oh, you really like the chicken? Yes, sir. It's because it's tender and it's fresh. It's not frozen type of chicken. It's pretty crispy. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's relatively crispy. And the marinade in the chicken is very uh, no, sir, rich. Oh, yeah. The flavor is... Uh, yeah, no, it's pretty good. It's, it's good. It's pretty good off for sure. <laughs> sir, regarding the Diwata's yeah. Paris, which yeah. do you prefer, the chicken one or the Paris? So? Uh, so I've only tried the chicken so far. I have not tried the Paris yet. Uh, I'm still going to try it, but I will try it. I'll get to it very soon. Okay, sir. It's hard to make this vlog. <laughs> it's very difficult. Uh, yeah, do my part. Okay. So, so what's the verdict, sir? The, chi the chicken or the Paris, sir? Okay, so the, the verdict, finally, oh wait. We're good. Sorry. Hi. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. Put it right here. Sure. We'll, we'll do this together. Okay. Okay, you can uh, go back and ask me the question. I'm so sorry, sir. For the chicken and the paris which do you prefer sir yeah so my thing is i really like the chicken but it doesn't have that crunchy crispy snap it's good though it just doesn't stand out to me but the paris that completely stands out it's got the crispy chocharon on the outside on the inside you got the uh the kind of nice like not too dry but like a little bit moist pork and it's just like it kind of just I want to say it like melts in your mouth, but that's not true. It's chewy still, but it's just got the perfect amount of uh, moisture, kind of like locks in those juices. It's seared inside. And so it's a pretty good piece of uh, Paris. And this is my first time trying Paris ever. So I'm not a very good judge because I don't have anything to the compare it to. Yeah, I don't have any reference, no comparison. All I know is I sat in the line for like, you know, two hours. Was it worth it to sit in line for two hours? I'm not sure, but it was really good. I'm glad I came here and tried it, but definitely, I mean, it's a once in a lifetime thing. You gotta do it at least once. And yeah, maybe it was actually an hour and a half we waited yes, in line. How long yes, do you think we waited in line? Around one hour and 45 minutes, I think. Around one, one hour and 45 minutes. Okay. Yeah. And sir, for the rating, in scale of one to 10, sir. Yeah, so 1 to 10, so the Paris, uh, so scale of 1 to 10, the, on a scale of 1 to 10, the Paris was definitely like a, a 9.5. If, if, no, if there's no line, it's 9.5. Because there was a line, I'll have to give it a 7. It's still pretty solid, it's still good, a, a, really good, uh, a really good rating, but yeah, with no line, it's, it's a 9.5, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't have, I'm not a very good raider though, because I've never tried it in the past. So that's my biggest fault. Like, I've never tried it, so I can't compare it to anything else. But the chicken, sir? The chicken, I think the chicken was like, a, you know, a pretty general chicken. It's not like good, not bad. I felt like it was um, kind of, oh, it's hard to say. I don't want to give it a bad rating. I'm going to not rate it, but I feel like, um, yeah, the chicken is not something you order when you come what here. What is it worth it, sir, to what? buy? Is it worth it to buy the chicken, sir? It's, it's not worth it. I think the, the Paris, is, Paris not, is worth it. Uh, yeah, you definitely come here to have the Paris. You don't come here to have the chicken, I think. The chicken. Uh, but maybe I just got a chicken that wasn't quite that uh, crispy. 
so it's possible I'm just like an odd one out. So I, I just feel like, yeah, it's a long line to get a chicken that's kind of very similar to what you'd get maybe on a good day at Jollibee, maybe a very good Jollibee chicken, because Jollibee is not consistent. Sometimes you get a Jollibee chicken joy that's like, you know, a 10 out of 10, and some days you get the Jollibee chicken joy that's like been sitting under the heat lamp for like one hour or two hours. And then it's not so good after all. Like, but yeah, this one was hot. It came out hot. I can't complain about it as a chicken overall. It's it's a good one for sure. And for the sir, for the ambiance and the atmosphere, uh, how how would you rate it, sir? The atmosphere is great. You know, everyone's very excited to uh, to meet the star of the show, our friend there. Uh, like, it's just a great, a great atmosphere. Everyone is very friendly, and you know, there's street vendors outside that can give you water. So in case you're thirsty, you can get water, so you won't die of dehydration and uh, starvation either. So yeah, you can get some shao mai. I got some shao mai in the beginning, which was really good. I highly recommend though, yeah, just come here uh, with an open mind and uh, enjoy it. It's like uh, it's like a cult following. We are all here enjoying and celebrating one man making a very amazing living doing the, you know, cooking the Paris. And he's, he's a nice guy. And sir, once again, please invite my viewers and my subscribers sir, to yeah. subscribe also in your channel. Sir. Oh yeah, so my name is a Food Expert. Uh, Bert is my actual name, but Food X B E R T is my channel name. And I travel across the world and I just love the Philippines. I'm going to be coming back to the Philippines quite often. It's an amazing country with amazing culinary experiences all around the country. So I'll be coming back here quite often, and I'm excited to see you guys again. And once again, thank you. Nice meeting you, and my pleasure to have you also, sir. And what's your channel? Give your channel a shout out on here. And uh, please subscribe, Alexander George J O R G E E Pangilinan. That's my YouTube channel and also my Facebook channel. Nice. Thank you. Very good. Shout out. Shout out, sir. Shout out, Tagabol. Shout out. 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 Shout out.